38 uh, political rights. Any Kenyan of age is at liberty to, <laughs> to vie. So which act of parliament will you do? Which will deny at the Mwanaume? You cannot run there. National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has warned that the next parliament risks facing similar backlash like the 11th and current 12th as a result of the deadlock on gender parity enforcement, a matter he proposes needs a referendum. I think that decision should ideally be a, de a decision to be made at a referendum. So that Kenyans, if Kenyans decide that they want to be voting, they want uh, we do top up, then even if you have a parliament of 600 members, it is Kenyans who will have made that decision. Muturi says Article 27 of the Constitution is dictatorial and a contradiction to the tenets of democracy that has seen Parliament unfairly condemned. There is no Act of Parliament that you can pass that can implement the two thirds gender rule. Not a, a standalone Act of Parliament. Remember, our electoral system is first past the post. So. Everybody goes out there to, to campaign. So, and the, are you going to compel people to vote in a particular way? The speaker has termed former Chief Justice David Maraga's advisory to the president on having parliament dissolved as an exercise in futility. Even if pa president had acceded, acceded to that advice and dissolved parliament, because the constitution says you must hold elections within 60 days, how are we going to ensure that the resorting parliament would be compliant to the two thousand, not more than two thousand of either gender? Not possible in a competition. It, it, it's not, not going to be possible. So you would then have to keep dissolving <laughs> every successful parliament. According to Muturi, the biggest obstacle is lack of political goodwill from key players. Most political leaders fear make, expressing themselves on that. On one hand, because they think that uh, they will lose women supporters. No, it's the truth. Uh, just say the truth. If you want, run for office. Justin Muturi has been at the helm of parliament from 2013. Duncan Haemba, KTN News.